Milena's Jubilee, the story of a fresh start. Words by Zeta Elliott and illustrated by Aaron Boyd. Milena's Jubilee, the story of a fresh start. In the morning, I woke up with a song in my heart and looked out of my window. Mm -hmm. The night rain had washed away our chalk drawings, but I didn't mind. The sidewalk was clean, and that meant we could start over. This morning, I remembered to make my bed. Yesterday, I forgot. Yesterday, I also forgot to put my toys away. And when Grandma's friend came over, he tripped over one and banged it to the table. That's how my mother's favorite vase got broken. It seemed like everyone was mad at me. This morning, when I crept in the kitchen and slid into my seat, Grandma winked at me. Mama set down my breakfast and kissed the top of my head. Does this mean you're not mad at me anymore? I asked them. I never let the sun go down on my anger, Grandma said. Today's a new day, Melina, Mama added, and that means you got a fresh start. Afterward, I'm going to stop at the store and get some glue. Maybe this evening you can help me fix my vase. After breakfast, I told Grandma about the song in my heart. She put the dishes in the sink and began running the water. Steam and bubbles drifted up toward my grandma's pretty face. I feel that way some days, she said. Some days I wake up feeling like I'm brand new. She chuckled. <laughs> and that's a pretty special feeling for an old lady like me. I chuckled too <laughs> and told grandma that today felt like the first page of a brand new book. Well, what are you planning to write on that first page? She asked me. I told her I wasn't sure. When we finished the dishes, I called my best friend, Helen, and told her to meet me outside. On my way out, I passed my older brother, Miles. I thought about the time last week when he stuck up behind me and whacked me over the head with his tennis racket. Now I had a chance to pay him back. I thought about how surprised Maya would be when a heavy cushion from the sofa went whoop upside his head. <laughs> but then I remembered that this was a fresh start day and pounding miles didn't seem like a good idea. After all, he only hit me back and miles hit hard. So I left him alone and I went outside. Helen was standing on the sidewalk. She looked upset. What's wrong, I asked. The poem I wrote about the rainbow got washed away, said Helen. Well, so write a new poem, I suggested. Helen knelt down and started drawing a flower instead. I took a piece of chalk and wrote, there's a song in my heart. What's your song about, Helen asked. Mm, I'm not sure, I said, but it's making me want to celebrate. Helen stopped drawing. Celebrate what? I looked around. I don't know. Maybe the sun or those trees over there. We could celebrate flowers and birds. Or we could even celebrate being best friends. Helen rolled her eyes. Whatever you say, Melina. I hummed softly to myself. When it was time for lunch, we went inside. Rum was out bread. Miles mumbled with his mouth full of food. Helen and I looked out the back door and saw Grandma digging in the garden. Are you girls hungry? She called to us. Helen and I nodded. <laughs> Suddenly, I had an idea. Grandma, why don't we eat the things that are growing in your garden? Grandma pushed back her sun hat and studied me for a minute. Then she shrugged, picked up her basket, and started telling us what to pick. We had the most delicious lunch. When we finished eating, Grandma gave us some money. Helen and I ran outside and followed the tinkling tune of the ice cream truck. Up the block, we saw Gavin and his twin brothers. Helen tugged my arm. 
Hey, Mel, Gavin owes you a dollar, remember? I remembered. I loaned it to him last week at the pizza shop. Gavin never gets to buy anything for himself. He always has to share with his little brothers. When we reached the truck, Helen tugged my arm again. Tell Gavin you want your money back, she whispered. Then we can get double swirl cones. Gavin was counting coins in the palm of his hand. He looked up and smiled at us. Hey, Melina. Hey, Helen. On any other day, I would have told Gavin I wanted my money back. But today was my fresh start day. Let's pool our money, I suggested. That way, we can buy a hot fudge sundae and split it five ways. Five ways, Helen gasped. The twins started jumping up and down. Sprinkles, sprinkles, they cried. Gavin stared at the coins in his hand. I'm not sure, Melina. Well, I am, I said. We carried our hot fudge sundae over to the park and dug in. Then we spread out on top of the jungle gym and took turns pointing out the funny shaped clouds. After a while, we got quiet. Then Gavin said, have you ever thought about the sun? About what, I asked. Well, said Gavin, there's only one. One sun that shines on everybody in the world no matter where you live or how you look or how much money you have. Sunshine is free for everyone, said Helen. I never thought about it that way, I said. We got quiet again. I closed my eyes and felt the sun beaming down on me. I began to hum softly at first, but Gavin heard me and joined in. Is that the song in your heart, asked Helen. I nodded and kept on humming. <laughs> What's it about? asked Gavin. Oh, it's a lot of things, I said. It's about waking up to a blue sky and finding out you've been forgiven. It's about free sunshine and tasty things that grow in my grandmother's garden. But mostly, it's about having a chance to start all over again every single day. The end. This is the author's note. I hope you take a moment to read it and understand why this book was written. And if you take a look at the other page, you can find out seven ways you can do to have your very own fresh start day.